Hi, I'm Daniel Madison and these are the Bicycle 1800 series playing cards in red and blue. These are a brand new edition of the 1800 series playing cards. We've changed one thing in these decks which I think you're all going to love. If this deck wasn't good enough already, we marked the 1800 series playing cards. So now with these decks of cards, you have the ability to identify any single playing card in the deck and every single playing card in the deck by looking at only the backs of the playing cards. The markings are very, very secret and subtle and the naked eye will never see them. Yet they are so simple for you to see and read within a split second. But what I love about this marked deck is we hit the markings inside the actual decay and cracks and the weathered look of the deck. So even when you look for the markings when you take this deck to the movies, you cannot see them and you will never see them. One of my favorite things to do with a marked deck is following um, a stacked effect. So um, let's say the deck is stacked in a certain order and also marked. So let's say it's a stack and it's also marked. If I cut the deck or if I get a participant to cut the deck, and they're looking at this card. If I now look at this card, or the markings on this card, because it's a stacked deck, I know what card they're looking at. When I do work with a stacked deck, one of the most powerful things I think to do with a stack is to simply false shuffle the deck and then claim that you can memorize a deck within seconds. You do your false shuffles, you spread the deck face up, and then you scan every single card, and then you close the deck and say, okay, I can remember every single card in the deck. And then you just name every single card as you're turning them over. Um, at the end of that, I found in the times I performed that, a lot of people would ask, can you do that if I shuffle the deck? And I used to say yes because my method was a deck switch, so I just switch out the deck that they shuffled for another stacked deck that was already on standby. But there is an easier way around this, a different avenue, a different road that you can take, especially when you're using a marked deck. And you don't need to do that trick first before you do this. You can simply start with this because it's a very fast and direct way to show somebody that you can do uh, memory tricks. So the idea is this. They put the, the deck behind their back and they turn a card face up, one card face up in the middle of the deck. So I've now done that. I bring the deck back round and I ask them to bring the deck back face up. I now put the deck on the table face up and then I say, I'm going to memorize the whole deck in five seconds. And I spread the deck of cards across the table, I look through the cards and then close the deck. Now one of those cards was face down so I couldn't tell which one it is. But the point of this trick is the idea of elimination. If I can see 51 playing cards and I can memorize them all, by elimination I can figure out which playing cards are missing, which playing cards are face down. The trick is, when the cards are spread face up, when I spread these face up, you don't have to spread it on the table, you can do it in your hands, you can simply scan through. When I get to the marked card, I simply look at the markings and I can now see where that card is. And it's as simple as that. And when the deck's spread out across the table, um, it's so much easier. You spread the cards out and this card is staring you in the face. When you get to it, this card is staring you in the face. And the good thing about the position of the markings is they're right in the corner. So even if I've got the tiniest the tiniest brief like that, I can still see the markings, I can still see that that is a four of hearts. So I close the deck, as soon as I've, I've, I've clocked what card is, I close the deck and say, okay, I can remember every single card, and I can see that, I can tell you straight away that there was a four missing. So it's a four, and I saw two black fours, so this must be a red one. Let me try and see which one it is. Let me go back to that memory. Um, it's definitely the heart I remember seeing in there the four of diamonds. Then you can give the deck to them and the other, or you can spread it face up to reveal that you were correct with the four of hearts. So this deck, in my opinion, is the best marked deck I've seen or used. These are the all new Bicycle Series 1800 playing cards.